This is the solution video for section 6.1, problem number 27. A stone is thrown directly downward from a height of 96 feet with an initial velocity of 16 feet per second. Find its distance above ground after t seconds. All right, so remember, in our notes, uh, we found that the position uh, of a projectile uh, thrown near the surface of the Earth was given by the equation s of t equals negative 16 t squared plus v sub 0 t plus s sub 0. Remember, v sub 0 represents the initial velocity and s sub zero represents the initial position and so the uh distance above the ground s of t is going to be negative 16 t squared plus v sub zero so now remember it's thrown downwards so that means the initial velocity is actually negative 16 right so negative 16 t plus s sub zero so that would be 96 so s uh, the initial position is 96 feet, and it's positive, right, because it's above the ground, of course. All right, and so that is it for uh, A, right? It just says the uh, distance above the ground after T seconds, right? So that's the best we can do there. Now, B says, all right, find when it strikes the ground. So what does striking the ground mean? That means that the position would be zero, right? The height would be zero. So negative 16 T squared minus 16 T plus 96 equals zero. And so now this is just some algebra. So I'm going to start by factoring out negative 16. So I get T squared plus one T minus six. Right. And so now uh, I could divide by negative 16. So I have zero equals T squared plus T minus six. And so I can factor that and I get T uh, plus three T minus two. Right. And so that means that T would equal negative three or positive two. Right. Negative three doesn't make sense in this context because uh, nothing is happening before time starts before zero. And so it would take two seconds to strike the ground, so two seconds after it is thrown, all right? Uh, now, the velocity at which it strikes the ground. So what does that really mean? That means I want to know V of two. What is the velocity at precisely two seconds when it strikes the ground? So what is V of two? All right, so first of all, I need to find V of T, so the derivative of position. So if I have negative 16 T squared plus uh, negative 16t plus 96, the derivative would be negative 32t minus 16, and I said 12, minus 16, right? And so now I just want to evaluate v of 2. So negative 32 times 2 minus 16. So negative 32 times 2 would be negative 64 minus 16, and so I get negative 80. So the object strikes the ground at negative 80 feet per second. 